Oh, hope this is worth it, because I've already killed people for this quest. <laughs> uh, I guess go this way this time. Whoop. I imagine with the level of threat implied by previous dust storms that riding a motorcycle on one is probably not a thing that works out for you. Oh! Wow. I flew clean over the no regrets wall. <laughs> I thought I was going to collide directly with that thing. It's like, I'm, <laughs> I was going to, you'd have to update it. Like the text on it would have to be updated from no regrets to, uh, one regret. Wait, what? Why did my quest change? Anyway. No. Oh. Wait, what? There, I was like, where's my fast travel spots? Uh, they kind of don't really exist that much. There's one that's technically closer, but let's skip a loading screen, I guess. It's, wow. It's two kilometers away. But, but still not much of any way to get there faster. I guess it's just part of town I'm not in much. Let's dive dangerously fast on this straightaway that has not a lot of viewership. Looks like everyone else's cars are struggling. Shoot. Thing's just tearing. Wait, no, we're staying on here. Uh, bleh, bleh. This is why we don't steer. We only go. We only go straight. Beep. I don't need roads. You say go that way. I say straight away. Let's cliff horse this shit. Up. Oh. Ah. Well, we have a way in, looks like. Does this become a hostile area? Are we good? Oh. You thought you were there? Nope, here's another half of a kilometer. I guess they wanted to help me find the entrance. This place is huge. I imagine it's mostly empty with not much, not much to do here, too. I briefly thought I was going to teleport again. Okay. Yeah, I'm suddenly able to scan correctly again. So you, I, th I guess you can't even scan with the Berserk thing. So that, including that in the game, just feels like a mistake. It fundamentally turns off your one of your primary ways of getting through quests. It doesn't really replace it with anything. So you, you just can't play quests. In many cases. Like you're pretty trapped with the idea that you have to scan stuff all the time. It's like trying to it's like trying to beat Witcher 3 without using the Witcher senses. It's like Technically you can go to the place that the Witcher senses will lead you to on your own, but I think the quest logic won't let you actually proceed without scanning. Finally. Look. Get far enough from the smell, even Night City can be beautiful. Uh, maybe in different weather. This is bad timing for this vista. There's a storm blocking all line of sight. You want to have super secret hacking spots, maybe you shouldn't make them loud as fuck. Another router? My dick theory starting to seem like a real. My theory, my uh, scanning didn't help find it, but my eyes did. I guess you can scan with your eyes. It's called analog.
You are getting closer. You are seeing more. The nirvana of Marxian Swedenborgism is about is around the corner. You must take the final step. You must be brave. Final step. Signal leads to him. Gotta get going. Oh. Why do I have to stop to talk to Johnny? He's in my head all the time. I guess I just I guess I just left the dialogue so he didn't get to I skipped the conversation on accident. But like we can we can just talk all the time. He's not he's not at a location. He's in me. Oh well. Wee. Shortcut. Or not? Can I literally not go this way? Weird. Invisible wall. Why? Oh, oh. <laughs> the 3D body that renders behind my camera so you can see my arms and legs didn't uh, lock to the camera correctly in that moment. Well. So my body's always loaded then, because you can see in moments like that. Oh right, I'm like locked in here. Hmm, still nearby. So I guess that's why you always see me awkwardly be a bald person, and then, I, then it loads my hair, and then it loads my helmet. Is, it dead, is this gonna be a dead end? Shit. Because it has, because that is just the game actually loading my head specifically. And the reason why the rest of me is fine, clothes and all, despite my head always having to load, is because uh, normally my camera exists where my head is. I'm just running around as a decapitated body at all times with the, with the uh, head awkwardly removed and the camera hovering there. So every time I get in a vehicle, it has to load my head. And it doesn't do a great job, apparently. Go two kilometers that way, now go two kilometers this way. Full crossing. I think we can shave time off by just hugging the wall, though. Until it becomes properly perpendicular to me. Oh, it's saying I can cut through. Uh... Not really. <laughs> GPS is just ignoring that the walls exist, apparently. I guess I could jump over, although the barbed wire creates some problems for me, usually. But I think I'd have to run pretty far into the building for my car spawn to be near me. Uh. Cliff. Okay, let's let's see what I can do here. Lots of invisible walls. Is this entire area just kind of not interactive? Like, not real? Yeah, you can't- you can't go inside this base. There's invisible walls everywhere. I think it's just an, uh, an unfinished area. It's just held off. So unfinished that the, uh, it doesn't seem to have hitboxes or whatever you'd call them. Flags, masks, or whatever. On the, uh, minimap. So the minimap thinks you can, it's just an empty field. And just like, why don't you just go through there? Now I'm curious. Can I climb over this wall anywhere? Because there was a really big invisible wall around the wall back there. You can't. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? You can't save right now. Why is that? 
I can save here. I guess I was in the air, maybe. Like, this one part sticks out past the invisible wall, so you can stand on it for a bit. Interesting. There's some kind of extended ridge that you just... They won't let you land up. They won't let you climb. And it's not the edge of the map. It's here. It's because this, 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 this whole area is mostly just not interactive. I come into it a couple of times like a tourist for a moment. But it's like... It always feels so out of the way because there's no there's no interact there's no uh, <clears throat> there's like no activities around here like not, not anything to do and it's always a long drive and part of it is that yeah you, these are all invisible walls you can't interact with the space it's the least open part of this open world it makes it a little more annoying that the ridge isn't even on the map. You can't really plan your route very well, not since you don't know how big this off-limits area is. Must be just yet another area they had plans for at some point. Oh, I gotta go this way. Alright, so ultimately I need I, I just needed to be on the road and stay on the road. Cause it turns out the way to get this direct oh shit. I fucked up my wazd. Turns out the only way to go this way anyway is this overpass. When do I get a card that lets me jump like a Mach 5? Then plays the silly slow motion sound. Don't you want a motorcycle that can jump? This is the cyberpunk feature. Why are most of my cars just cars? But I've got powers. Where's the saw blade that comes out of the front of my vehicle and cuts into the other vehicles? <laughs> Here we go. Go fuck yourself. Hey, go fuck yourself. I'm Walker here. What does this represent? Dirt? Sand? Because maybe that's sand. Yeah, it's probably sand from the dunes and blowing around everywhere. Trail cuts off here. So what, asshole hiding here Was someplace? Was it you? Maybe. Or maybe we get to another terminal. Have to see. Funny area, this. Kind of complements our guy's style, doesn't it? How? This theme park another parody of capitalism run amok? Cheap entertainment for brain-dead gonks, that's how. I just... If you if you didn't go back and rewatch the last ten seconds, but watch her the whole time, because that was fascinating. She idled between so many strange animations, and not even one of them. Oh, there she goes again. She walks back there. She clips to the floor. She suddenly has a weird hobbly tired animation. Then she's perfectly rigid again. Then sits in the same spot. Because you don't have to rewatch the last few seconds because it happened again. And again, I guess that's what she, that's her cycle. Like they, I guess she's programmed to do that. Like, and then she does that, where she glitches out and stands up for a second. When she's supposed to- yep. Is that T-posing? I think she's T-posing. Yep, that's T- that's a full T-pose in the middle of her sitting animation. Has the sea ever been so, so whenever she sits for too long, she T-poses. Then she walks, she clips to the floor, walks back, gets tired. Then she doesn't even walk correctly to her sitting spot, so she has to like slide to it. Then back to her tea posing. Fascinating. <laughs> it's just so weird. The state this game's in. Yeah, a, a real live sailfish? 
here? Come on. Weird happy meatballs. Ha <laughs> ha eat us. We'll scream in your mouth. We're all done with melting. Now it's all about the screaming in your mouth. That's the new gimmick. Is that person dead? Are they okay. Okay, I think I found it. Money is a tool used by the colonial oppressors of our minds. Class division is the breeding ground of anarchy. Wait, what the hell is this? What it looks like. Swedenborg Riviera. Ha! Come one, come all for the profit of Night City. Ha! Oh, that's too good. A wind-up philosopher in a box. Hand me a couple of eddies. See what he cranks out next. Class division is the breeding ground of anarchy. Class unity. Class consciousness is the breeding ground of anarchy. I don't think they know what anarchy means. You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Success is the delusion of the soul. He's just glitching back and forth between political phrases and the means of production should belong to the collective unconscious oh yeah it's just a it's just a a, a mad libs capital is the blood of the global system of oppression your luck shall turn around when the means of production will flow on an endless stream of endorphins yeah, that's just you scrolling soup. this. <laughs> we need to save these for posterity's sake. <laughs> how, how is this even is possible? Of the soul. Not a fucking clue. But Jesus me, how beautiful is this? Half the, the nets getting tweaked on wisdom from a puppet in a glass case. Hairs are being split. Spit is flying over interpretations. Capital oh, is the man. Of the Let me tell you. Fifty years of soul prison was worth it for this moment right here. Was his dialogue supposed to be true? Now I'm curious. He said half the internet's getting tweaked about a puppet in a glass case. And yes, normally... A fortune teller bot is a puppet in a glass case. That's like the shtick. It's like an animatronic. But this is a screen. Is this did did they just they run out of time? Were they supposed to make a three D model that says these lines like like a, like they would do in real life? Or because now it's just a glitching screen. But like this is just a picture they drew and animated by like motion tweening it or whatever. So like this is faster to make probably, but. Now his dialogue doesn't reflect reality at all. Are you a bot too, Johnny? I need to take a look. Somebody must have tampered with this thing. <laughs> Seriously? What, you think you're gonna find a jack-in-a-box who wants to become a real boy? <laughs> you shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. The means of production should belong to the collective unconscious. Capital is the blood of the global system of oppression. Look, someone helped Swedenborg up to the net. What are you waiting for? Let's see what secrets are flowing in those cables. Trying to find the interaction. <laughs> Uh, how do I do it? How do I hack the router? Is there another router nearby? Is it up here? I found, I found bleach. That's like almost like a router if you lie. You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Success uh, is, the is this quest broken? Oh, here it is. Why, why am I being attacked? Oh, because they saw me hacking? They're mad I'm hacking? Why? 
Apparently they're really mad I'm hacking this thing. Hey, I got all three in one. You don't want to do this. Oh, well, there they go. You followed all the clues, like the good dog you are. So, do you feel enlightened? XD, you have been pawned by Sweetie. I've been pawned in that I'm gonna murder all of your friends or whatever. If it, what? Hey, Johnny. You want more <laughs> if I'm getting this right, someone hacked into this fortune teller box, rejected its algorithm to spew out anti-establishment aphorisms instead of prophecies, and then hooked it up to the net through a system of routers that masks the signal origin. Pure fucking genius. Can we find whoever did this? I need to shake their hand. Unlikely, for two reasons. First, they didn't leave a trace. Second, you're dead, Johnny. Oh, right. When I get in a good mood, I forget that. Hey, V, don't turn it off, huh? So let it keep going or modify the algorithm. No. Don't worry, no. Johnny. I'm not going to take away Night City's philosopher of the people. Huh. Well then, to Swedenborg Riviera, long may... The means of production should belong to the collective unconscious. <laughs> Johnny hard pivoted on this guy. And all these people hard died. All you had to do was have your fun party and chill, but you had to try to murder me at random. And I didn't even fucking- I didn't even fuck with your robot. I just took a look. Bloop. There's like a kind of a, th a limit you hit with video games where if the people are just too bad of a simulation of people, you kind of stop feeling bad about killing them. Like if they're just gonna randomly all attack me for no reason in moments like that, I'm, I'm just gonna be like, Welp, I don't really feel responsible for this. Oh well. Ah, V. Let me guess. You called to tell me you're done bashing your head against the wall? Well, not exactly. We found something. We? Someone with you? No, I, I meant the royal we. So, about Swedenborg. It's all a big hoax. Say what now? It's an automated fortune teller. Strings words into deep sounding mumbo jumbo. Someone jacked it into the net. Probably laughing from his chair. Shit, V! This, this, oh, this story's even better than I thought. I'll take it from here. Oh, your, uh, your Eddie's on their way now. Thanks, bye. That's really funny. I don't really like the f implication, though, of, s like, the pseudo-intellectualism. Be, being associated with the, with killing in the name, a Rage Against the Machine song. They don't. They didn't do anything to deserve this. They. they this doesn't. They don't. They don't belong here. That's. It's incorrect. Psycho killer. Some bullshit. I guess we're done. We're fucking done with this game now. Time to craft my legendary pistol and then beat the game. Oh 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 oh. Level my dude. Buy some shit. The health one. Which has its values. Yep, headshot multiplier is pretty good. Mm, I wish. So I'll make a new save. Nocturne. I guess the fact that the quest is ca called Nocturne is helpful if I can remember that about it. Crafting. My gun is called... Wait, did I already do craft the, the final version of this? I just forgot. I guess I did. I can't even check what the name of this gun is. Or what, like... I, I think it's the crash? I think it's the crash. 
Yeah, I think I already crafted to its legendary state, which I think means it's capped out forever. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, we should be good to beat the game, I think. So let's just go do that. And move on to our next thing. I think we're all ready for that by now. Where's the local fast travel spot? Let's see where they go with the story. And also, we'll get to find out what goes on with Johnny Hand, Johnny Silverhand and V. It'll be pretty annoying if they come up with some bullshit ending where both of them survive perfectly. Just because it'll feel kind of cheap, I think. Or at least I think it would feel cheap. We won't know how it'll feel until it happens. Let's find out. The point of no return. So if I ever need to go back to before this point, we'll try to remember that Nocturne Nop <laughs> is the uh, point of no return quest. Got my hacking chip in, got my bullshit gun, I think we should be fine. Nice of them to make sure the pop-up happens the second time you come here too. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Can you chill for two secs? We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. What was he doing there? You should tap it on, boy. Hanako-sama ga omachi da. She emptied the place. Shit. I think our guy really did die in that last Excellent. quest. You have come. What an abrupt exit. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. We're, uh... Saying this with a lot of uh, audience members, you trust everyone here? <clears throat> you knew. Is didn't everything do a thing in about order? It. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life, ensure continuity, stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. I knew the father's answer would be family and the son's answer would be power, but I mixed up their names because we don't actually deal with them that often. Well, then... The main story's been in the backseat for a long time. Even in the main story, really. Or at least these characters have been. Mm hmm He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. What changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout. 
when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I don't know. Three times now that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Want to leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is going to be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arisaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Is your neck okay? No wish to? Or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate, as should you. So... Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as... You will see. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Never. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. 
You could use some air right now. Me falling apart like this is going to make me seem a whole lot less capable of doing my job. As somebody that they hire to do this. Look at me, top of my game. I warned you. What? What are you doing? Shit, you could be hours from it now, Pete. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Buddy listens to me. See what I'm getting at? So suddenly he can just do it without the without the pills. So what was the point of the pills mechanic? Johnny can just take over apparently. What the? This is just kind of incoherent at this point. Of course I can see. You want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endo trizy, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's office on the table. I'm sorry. Who's? I'll cut the crap. She actually has power. Could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That sucker cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. So this is the big decision point, I guess, isn't it? Because the, uh, uh, she's, she basically let it slip. Like, we need to get to Mikoshi to succeed. And she just revealed that Mikoshi's port is under Arasaka Tower. So now we have enough information to be like, okay, let's go for it. <laughs> and it's definitely appealing, the idea of just not working with Arasaka. Because why would you want to? Who gives a shit who's running this place? Like, they're all not good. If she can make him if she wants to make a move, she can do it ourselves. We're not invested in the leadership of Arasaka Tower. Like ultimately the whole thing that happened with Yorinobu, it's like an incidental accident that came up once. We were just stealing a thing. And they don't even seem particularly invested in getting the relic back or even hunting us down for it or any like we're like not in each other's stories. It's just that we were trespassing and stealing. So we got shot at, and then did some made some dangerous choices with a chip that we put in ourselves. Uh, and now we're suffering the consequences of fucking with stuff that we don't understand, and getting and uh, working with people that we didn't trust. It's like Dexter Deshawn was, he's a shitty, he's a particularly shitty kind of fixer that grabs people up that he sees as disposable and throws them at problems and doesn't care if they die because if they fail the mission and die then it's like well I didn't really lose anything we'll just do we'll just keep going maybe even throw more more shitty people at the same problem uh get 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 a no name mercs for cheap 
So the moment I was a problem to him, there was no loyalty. He he executed me. And that's what set this whole thing in motion. Is that V made a lot of really bad choices. And I guess that's part of the reason why that part of the game insisted on being mostly a montage. And then it's like, oh, we got this gig and stuff like that. Because, like, to some extent, having the part be playable would have highlighted how on rails it would have been. Because V couldn't make choices. Because in order to make the whole story happen... You have to you have to agree to do the Dexter Deshaun gig and all that, which was just a huge mistake in every way. How much money were they expecting to get from this? Every single person was talking like they were going to retire, like Jackie and T Bug and all of them, but like. I'm just trying to think about like the level, the level of investment that the Voodoo Boys seemed to have when we actually brought it by. They didn't seem that committed. It didn't really feel like I had the most valuable thing ever in my head. I kind of think everyone was overestimating how much money they were going to make. Just, I mean, they, they fucked up every other stage step of this entire process. Why wouldn't they fuck up that part too? But of course, like, turning control over to Johnny Silverhand seems questionable. For a number of reasons, but we keep doing it lately. They've been warming you up to the idea. Hmm. It's true, yeah. I'm just not particularly invested in Arasaka as an organization. So the idea of helping one person in it take over over another person, it's like, no. Ultimately, the situation with Arasaka has never really been the objective. The one person I knew, who did save my life, that was invested in this, is dead. So he doesn't even have a, uh, an ongoing thing. So if I got invested in the leadership, it would basically be just to... Was it Hakamura? Was that his name? Uh, it would just be me doing it on behalf of him. In his, like, his legacy. Ah, this is for him, the guy who died. Oh no. Which... Yeah, his story was surprisingly brief, because I, I think he's just gone. Like, that's... That was it for him. Kind of thought he was going to be, like, the main backbone of the entire... Like, main, main story once I get around to it. But now it really is just V on his own again, because everyone he works with dies. And to some extent, we are more invested in these other characters than we are in... Them. What if this goes badly, though, for him? What if, uh... What if surrendering himself is how you lead to the situation where he just completely overwrites V and there's nothing of him left and that's the end? Like, what if I just become Johnny Silverhand? And that's it. It would be the inevitable thing that we thought this was all going towards. Like, what if surrendering makes him take over faster? I've kind of... More than dipped my toe into that pool, though, if I'm worried about that. <laughs> like, we've let him do it a lot. Rogue. I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breached the tower. All cracks open, Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? Not doing well. Hmm. That's also worth questioning, isn't it? Like, will it even be a choice? This thing about Johnny versus Arasaka. I'm thinking like back to Witcher 3 and like once you got to the ending, the ending you got was de decided by a series of choices you made earlier in the game. So it might, not, it might not even be up to me. It seems like V's kind of fucked. He's about to go Disco Elysium Part 1. Um, Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. The 
delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. I have optic nerves? I thought it was kind of just all replaced at this point. My head... Ah! Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Oh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. They missed you a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamon was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Just slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Take matters into my own hands? The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Huh? Out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. He just talked out of my mouth. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Guns and pills. So we're not making the choice yet. So we do have a binary choice here. And it basically, it might straight up just amount to kill me or kill Johnny. At least you're choosing who controls us in the end, but... I don't know, Victor kind of sold it like it might be the end. Like, if I, if I put myself under, then Johnny just takes over for good. Say, who won the bout? Oh, so you heard that. Did he get up? Walsh, was it? No, nope, never does. Meaning? It's a rerun. One I'd like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad, then? If you already knew who won. Oh, no, really. I guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? Entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but... V, 
Feels a little strange to call that a mistake. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. I mean, he was there. If you, if Jackie didn't take the chip out and give it to you, thinking he was, ah, oh, he's gonna die, he probably would be alive right now, and you'd be dead. Because the chip would have revived him. That's how it works. The only reason Jackie's dead right now is because they didn't know what to do with the chip. Top floor. Of course, I might have then died. Or maybe if Jackie was still alive, he wouldn't have taken us out the way he did. Oh, Jack. This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? You see, Johnny, you're gonna have to choose between Tell the red chair and the blue chair. With my thoughts. She's on to something. Thought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Oh my god, they did just have a Keanu Reeves end with me picking between two pills. Thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. I just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. I don't know, it looks like the sun's up. Sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Obviously not. 
to know that we'll see each other again. What? You know, fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something, something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time, but I have to. What is it? It's not for comms, not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it, I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Hmm. So we have three different directions we can go in now. Trust Arasaka. Go to Pan Am. Like a third option I essentially unlocked by doing all the stuff that I did. Or just let him and Rogue try to solve the problem. Which seems incredibly questionable. And I can't save right now. This would be the, like, exact perfect time for this button to work. <laughs> well. I think I'm gonna listen to Victor and Pan Am's advice. Take this into my own hand. Seek a choice outside of the binary that's being presented here. The, trusting Arasaka is just not smart. But trusting Johnny's not smart. See, he's siding with me and he wants to he wants to save me. And at this point, I think I believe him. But that doesn't mean he can do it. He, his, his legacy is just an endless series of mistakes that don't pan out. He's just wired in a particular way to approach things in a certain way that does not work and is not sustainable. And that's why he's dead. And his, and his plan is just to do it again. Because that's just... I'll, he'll get it right this time. Like he's... Uh, the reunion tour was a metaphor, because <laughs> he wants to do the same thing with Arasaka that he did with the band. And much like with the band, it doesn't amount to anything, it doesn't result in anything, it's a symbolic performance. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Actually, I have a save from earlier, so yeah. I'm gonna try this with Pen Am. A just... lot of like. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where?
I'll see you inside Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. You can then just turn around and call Hanako instead. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. Yeah, this might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is this high moon? Like the middle of the night? She's like, do you have an idea what, what time it is? But like... This is some intense level of, of light pollution from the city if this is what the nighttime looks like. It's literally never dark in Night City. Weird. I swear I've seen this game so much darker before though. Maybe it's a mistake. So is Johnny just gone? Because they are blockers, so I guess they're going to block him. So we're going to just nope out of dealing with him and, and trade that for Pan Am. Pan Am's not my favorite. But, well, I guess she might... Well, I don't know. She might be my favorite in this game. There's not a lot of competition for her, is there? For likable characters that are well-developed and had a lot of free time. And notably are alive still. <laughs> It's like two, three people in the whole game. Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So what now? Wait for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Even he calls back to what Vic said. The cat's here. Who do we have here, huh? Eerie. That cat was with Takamura. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Storming Definitely Arasaka adjust. Tower. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. 
The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yeah. Oh. No mistake in that ride ever. She more or less laid out what the current quest is. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Start by leaving a nomad family, and by being saved by a nomad family. Well, if things work.